James Kaufman, World News Report. Today, October 26, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, this last double flare, including an X1.86 solar flare, has become freakish. The X flare happened here at 7 UTC time. 7 UTC time, ladies and gentlemen. It happened between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. this morning, early. Now, our proton flux was already moving up because of the X3.33 solar flare that I said was an insider's warning to each other. Now, all of a sudden, 10 plus hours later, we have a huge jump here. This is going to be, well, this is going to be about 16, 17 UTC time. And then we have another jump here, uh, close to the end of the day here. Here we are at 2200 UTC time. What would have caused these two jumps? Because we see no additional solar activity as far as our GOES X-ray flux. And as far as any of our solar ultraviolet imager or any information that's available, what caused these two big jumps so many hours after the flare? And why weren't, well, why weren't the x-rays picked up on our x-ray absorption prediction center minutes after the flare as they always have been? X-rays move at the speed of light. All of a sudden it took seven to ten hours for them to show up we saw how faint the signal was that i reported this morning early and now all of a sudden we're in a polar cap absorption event and our proton flux is shooting right through the space weather threshold with two large jump ups it looks like we had two more flares that went unreported now please remember we had the X3.3 flare here, and you can see the protons start to rise slowly. Again, they start to rise slowly over a two-day period, which is just bizarre. And then at this time, right here, we should have seen a huge jump in our GOES proton flux, but we didn't. It slowly moved up, and about nine and a half and then again about 13 or 14 hours later we had two huge jumps in our proton flux count right through the space weather threshold there so we're supposedly in a proton storm but if we're in a proton storm where are the protons because they're not showing up on lasco c3 all right here is the event that happened right around 4 utc time on the 24th we saw Nothing occurred as far as our proton flux. It started slowly moving up, really, on the 25th, where we had nothing occur. And then nothing happened when we had our X flare. And actually, I have a video showing that exact moment and questioned at that time why the signature on our X ray prediction center was so weak. Uh, you can go back to my video that I put together at 3 a.m. and listen to me question that because it looked like an M1 flare to me and it stuck out like a sore thumb. Now all of a sudden, our x-rays have subsided and we see no additional solar flares, but ladies and gentlemen, our x-rays haven't subsided. We're in a polar cap absorption event after what looked like a very light impact on our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. Again, where are the protons on Lasco C3, the little white specks, if we're in this huge proton storm, like the model is indicating? Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely huge, huge eruption, but there are no protons. You can see that's all happening beforehand. All the little things moving around that's all beforehand when we see the actual explosion here and it looks like they speed it up there 
And that, again, I don't know what occurred. Was it a second explosion that they're not reporting? They actually speed Lasco C3 up there. Very, very strange. But where are the little white specks, i.e. the protons, hitting Lasco C3? Because we should see them all over this image and these images. This goes all the way to 20 UTC time. Meaning that we had been in an actual proton storm for several hours here at the end of the Lasco feed. But there's no proton showing up. Nothing is working out as it should and as it always has here. I've got so many questions. Is or was this a real event? Or is this Memorex? And are they preparing, well, to do something based on this perhaps false solar flare and chrome mass ejection? I'm not quite sure, but nothing here makes sense. As our polar cap absorption event becomes stronger and stronger, and remember, our flare was at 7 UTC time. We don't even see the polar cap absorption event until around 17. Yep, right about 17, just like I said. So 12 hours later, why? When the solar flare went off did we not see a bright red spot with the x-rays hitting our d region absorption prediction center here and why was there no radio alternation at the time i questioned that in the video and i'm sure y'all saw it and now we're in a heavy polar cap absorption event let's go back we can't go all the way back to where it hit but you can by looking at and this doesn't start till seven hours after the X flare actually popped off. And it's kind of flashing on and off. This would not be anything natural. This looks like someone is messing with the model. So all of a sudden, and this is going to be 12 hours, right? At 12 hours after the solar flare, the X 1.86 solar flare went off. Again, we're in a polar cap absorption event that just continues to get worse and worse. I'm going to go back to my video and show you all what the impact looked like right now. It's that important. All right, this is the original video here. And that is the major X flare hitting. You can see how weak of an X-ray flux we got here on our D region absorption prediction center. And I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can hear me question it at 3 a.m. where I happen to be up waiting on this to peak. All right, now listen to me here. Listen to me. Over to our X-ray flux or D region absorption prediction center. Look at the time. I just don't feel like this looks like the X flare that we just saw come from our solar disk. 713. The radio is, well, Looks like a small inflare to me, period. And this is the peak that I pulled out right here. Three the, same, the time is completely Three off. 13. Uh, this is running about two hours behind, and I've never ever seen that, but they're showing the flare. So 7.13 UTC time should be around 2.13. Central Time, and it's now almost 3 a.m. Never seen this run, well, so slow here, or so behind, if you will. And this does not look like the flare that we saw come off our star, period. I think all of y'all will agree. You can just, well, there's just not enough x-rays here, especially for something that's that much Earth-facing. It's a wild, wild situation. I can't answer the questions as of now. Uh, we're going to have to figure out what's going on in the morning. And all of a sudden, here we are now. So y'all can see why I'm questioning what is going on here. Obviously, I've been reporting space weather for years now. 
and none of this makes any sense whatsoever unless it's manipulation of the models. That's all I can point to here. Definitely does not fit together like the puzzle that it should. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. It is mind-boggling, and it's really, really wearing on me all day. That said, God bless, guys. Uh, we are in a polar cap absorption event. Our proton storm continues to get higher and higher, although it did not move when the flare popped off, and we saw what the actual impact on our D region absorption prediction center, our X-ray flux here, looked like compared to now. There are no simple answers here. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.